you of this entire universe is the only witness and are liberated always, anywhere. By you, who is Ashtavakriji pointing to? To King Janak. But who is King Janak? Any person who is willing to listen? But there are very few people who want to listen to the truth. They only want to hear what they think is the truth. Something which he feels is correct. Correct meaning what he perceives as the truth which is actually a lie because its foundation itself is a lie. To embrace all this, you have to rise above such petty thoughts and look at the truth as it is. What is he saying? You of this entire universe is the only witness, meaning only one witness. If someone anywhere in the world is seeing something, then that person is you. We think that everybody sees different. There are different souls which are seeing differently via different bodies. This isn't being conveyed here. Here it is being said that only one witness is present. How can witness be one? This means that the witness is unlimited. Now when we talk about witnessing, it's not just through the eyes, but through all the five senses. When you witness through your nose, it is smell. When you witness through the tongue, it is taste. When you witness through the eyes, it is forms. When you witness through your skin, it is touch. When you witness through the ears, you'll hear. This is witnessing. The word used over here is witness, but he's actually talking about witnessing. Otherwise, you might think that there's a God who is sitting somewhere and he's watching through everyone. Even then, there's this notion of him being separate from me. So understand witness as the sight, because if there's no sight, how will a witness exist? Like light illuminates an object, meaning the object was visible because of the light. So, one is which has been illuminated, that is, the object, and one which is illuminating. Where can we go astray over here? We will say, here's a bulb, which is the illuminer. Bulb isn't the illuminer. If there's no light in bulb, then... Is the bulb illumina? No. So, illumina is the light. But since light is coming through the bulb, whom do we call the illumina? We call the bulb as illumina. Whereas, the same light which is illumining the object is the same light illuminating the bulb. So, illumina is only one. Similarly, the witness is one. You can call it a sight, which has also been called as the light in the scriptures. But it is something which illuminates both the light and darkness. See, one is a physical light, which can illumine an object. Object will be visible to us because of the light. If there's no physical light, can we see anything through our eyes? Similarly, the consciousness witnesses both the existence of that light and the light's non-existence too, which is called darkness. If there's light in this room, then we can see this. Our eyes are open, but there's no light and there's complete darkness. We are seeing that darkness too. So, the existence of that light which helps us to see the light and darkness right now, that is called consciousness. That consciousness is also known as light from that aspect. What people have understood of light is the physical light and are trying to see that light within themselves. The light of consciousness. One is the light of this bulb, the light of the sun. But the light of sun 
can't see darkness. The light of sun can illumine the existence of an object and even its non-existence. Say there's a book lying here. How do we know that? Because there's light here. So, we know that there's a book here. At another place, on another table, there is no book. How do we know that there's no book there? We can say that because of the light. So that light can show us the existence of an object and also its non-existence. Now if you make that light the object, then there's a light which can show us the existence of that light and also its non-existence. That is called the light of consciousness. We can call it sight. Sight is what witnessing is and it has also been called the witness because actually it is the witness. As I explained you through a bulb's example, the light in the bulb is the illumina. Similarly, what you call as the witness, that is, this body, which is like a bulb, an instrument. You will call this body as a witness. Ask someone who the witness is. Who are you? I am seeing. Who is seeing? You'll point yourself, your body or your eyes and say, I am seeing. Your eyes aren't seeing. Someone is seeing via your eyes. That is the real witness. And that is one in all. Like there are different bulbs, but the electricity within them is one, isn't it? So, the sight is one, but the instruments are different. One is an animal's body. Other is a human's body. Assume that some human bodies have eyes and others don't have it since childhood. So that sight which has eyes can see this world because of the eyes, because of the existence of that sight. Sight is existing in other bodies too because the same sight where eyes don't exist, there are ears through which it can listen. That sight which I have repeatedly used as the witness so that scriptures make sense to us, we get to the depth. Whenever the word witness is used, it would mean witnessing or seeing through all five senses, which also includes thoughts. We do see and know our thoughts, isn't it? We know when thoughts exist and when they don't. If you say apple, then an image of an apple can be seen inside our brain. Where does it come from? The memory. So, we can see all this. That sight which sees everything. Like bulbs are different. Stars are different. But the light within all of them are the same. Light isn't different. Since the bulbs are different, hence we perceive that the lights are different. Like boxes are different and because of that difference we perceive that the space within those boxes are different. Space isn't different. Space is only one. Bubbles are different and because of them being different we feel that the water is different. We think that each bubble has a different water. Water is one. You of the entire universe is the only witness and are liberated always, anywhere. Whether you see through your senses or if you are seeing the memories playing within the brain, the reason because of which it can be seen is said to be the witness here. Understand this deeply, then only can it be one. Else, you'll say, how can I be the one? I am only seeing here. My eyes are only seeing inside this room. What do I know what is happening outside? How do I know what an insect sees? How do I know what a bat sees at night? So, he who sees from within that bat, how can he be me? My experience doesn't point to this. My experience says that I only see through this body. Meaning, I understand that what I witness through these five senses of my body 
That is me. But I don't understand how could I see through all the bodies of this world. Here is where sensibility works. Like this earth looks flat to us, but is spherical. Sky looks blue to us, but is colorless. How does sensibility help? Can the sky look colorless instead of blue because of it? It is still visible as blue, but scientists understand that it isn't blue. Similarly, whatever is being talked about here has to be understood properly. Who is the witness? Is it the instrument through which things are seen? Or is it the sight because of which something is visible through this instrument? Who is the real witness? It's a deep inquiry which we are dwelling into right now. It is extremely deep. In the bulb's example, who is the illuminer? Is it the bulb or the light? Are you understanding the depth of all this? Sight of something, whether through memory or through the eyes, it can be via anything and that's not important. The point is sight of something. So, the sight, the consciousness, is that the witness or we saw through these eyes. So these eyes are the witness. Eyes are similar to an instrument. We saw something through the camera. Is it the camera who sees or is it me? It's me. We have no problems until here. Doubts start as soon as we start identifying with this body. What is the difference between this camera and these eyes? Do they show images in a different manner scientifically? No, they show it the exact same way. There is absolutely no difference. There is a memory card in the camera which records whatever is captured. If that memory card is not present, then you can still see through the camera, but there won't be any recording. If there's a memory card, it will happen. Similarly, assume that recording is happening inside our brain. How is it happening? Through the lens. Lenses are the eyes. Something is getting recorded via them. So, who is the witness? Are these eyes the witness or the one who sees via these eyes is the witness? Because he is not seeing only through the eyes. He is also seeing through his ears. The proof is that if eyes are removed from our body, even then your sight doesn't die. Sight continues to exist irrespective of the presence or absence of the instruments. Instruments get created and demolished on their own accord. No one is making or destroying them. They get created and are destroyed on their own. Like we haven't made our body ourselves, isn't it? Whoever you call I has definitely not made this body, this instrument. It was just made. Because of the presence of this instrument, something was seen. Something got recorded because something was seen. Did you do this? It happened on its own. So, what witness is being discussed here? Is the one who witnesses in each body different? Or, the one who witnesses is only one? You don't have to say yes or no. Enquire it properly. Understand it at your ease. Dig very, very deep. Is the consciousness different or same? What has been said here? The only witness. You thinking of yourself as separate from the witness is your only bondage. Meaning, you consider segregated from the witness. It is actually the sight and you are that sight. Remove that sight. Who are you? Remove that sight of an object or an emotion. Or a thought. Where is the object? Emotion or thought? Remove that sight. Where are you? Who are you? All these things are here. But there is no sight of all these. The consciousness. If that is removed, what does it all mean? Nothing at all. Similarly, if you are the light, 
But who are you thinking of yourself as? A bulb? All the problems in this world are related to this bulb. There is no problem with light. Bulb can be fused, but light can't be fused. Light manifests and unmanifests depending upon the conditions of the bulb of nature. It's very deep. Witness is one. Light is one. Sight is one. At times there is something in the sight and at times nothing. Why? Does sight appear and go? Or the instruments are made and destroyed? A bulb is made is destroyed. Is the light made and destroyed? Bulb may survive or not, but light isn't affected by it. Similarly, I am not solely present in this body. I am everywhere. Say electricity. If I say that I am the electricity itself, then I am everywhere. You are consciousness. There's nothing to change. You are consciousness, but you consider yourself as the instrument through which that consciousness sees. That's it. You can change the body. You can put a microscope in front of the eyes, and what will be visible thereafter will change. The world will change. As soon as the instrument changes, the world changes. Isn't it? What isn't visible right now will be visible. What is visible now won't be visible then. As soon as the lenses are changed, everything changes. You can change the instrument, but on changing the instrument, what you are, which is the sight, is entirely unaffected. Whether instrument changes, and because of that change, the world changes. Whether that new world is better or worse than the old world. There is no effect of this on the sight, the consciousness. What will be affected? Memory. Memory will intervene and claim that the earlier instrument was better. It'll say that it feels that telescope was better and this microscope isn't that good. Whatever is visible through this microscope looks ugly. But things via telescope are beautiful. This is called a relative standpoint. An instrument and this world are born together and die together. As the instrument, thus the world. If there's no instrument, there's no world. For whom? For the sight. That sight which isn't different but only one. As the instrument appears in front of that sight, the world is seen accordingly. As the world is seen, thus is the recording. As the recordings are which are called memories, thus the actions are. The sight is everywhere like space. The closest example of consciousness is space. You will understand this only when you realize that even during deep sleep, this sight doesn't die. Else, you'll never understand. This body is like an instrument inside which an entire world is visible. When you're awake, it is visible through your senses and when you're in a dream, then a recording is being played. Where does it happen? Inside the body, of course. Inside the brain. So, it's an instrument inside which all of this happens. The witness experiences the presence of something in this instrument, in the waking state, or the presence of the recorded memories during the dreaming state. You are not playing it. It is being automatically played through. It is happening on its own. If there are memories, they will be played during the dreams. So, that sight which knows and sees whatever is happening during the waking state and which also sees and understands when something is played during the dreams and also when dreams stop because of a cause and effect. There was a fear within you which had to come out in some or the other form. 
Which path did it take? Dreams, like there's an animal which is eating me or I'm falling down from a height. Whatever, we see such kind of dreams, meaning it happened. There was an impulse which had to manifest and it happened. A work had to be done, which was done. When the work is over, it means the dream is over. You experience the completion of that dream too. But since you've identified yourself with the dream, that when there's a dream, I'm there. This I'm sure about. If I wasn't there, how would a dream be? Like when something is visible through the eyes, then I'm there. This is for sure. But what happens when nothing is visible? Aren't you still there? You are still there. When the hands are numbed, when it is being operated on and you don't feel the pain, it doesn't mean that you're dead. There have been some changes done to this instrument. Science is so sophisticated that there have been some changes done on this instrument. They've induced some chemicals due to which the signals from your hand do not reach the brain anymore. All other signals are working inside the brain. So, if you even say that the hand is dead, it won't be wrong. But you can't say that you are dead. In the worst case scenario, say the hands are severed. So, when there's no hands, there are no fingers. If there are no fingers, how will you get the sensation within the fingers? If it's there, only then can you feel those sensations. And if the connections are working properly, only then can you feel it. When there are no fingers, you can't feel the sensations of fingers. Then you can say that the hand is dead. I am not. Similarly, eyes are dead. I am not. Body is dead. I am not. This is one level which has to be understood deeply. If we get a grasp of this, our work is done. This is what self-realization is. I am something else, but I presume myself as something else. If I understand who I am actually, then there's absolutely no problem at that level. But if I identify myself with an instrument, there can't be anything other than problems over there. And as complex as the instrument gets, problems become more complex too. Like plants do not have so many problems because that instrument is comparatively simpler than ours. Its nervous system isn't as complex. But our human body is the most complex structure, much more complex than any other animal for that matter. Top that with language, information, memory. So, as complex the instrument gets, problems multiply accordingly. It's so simple to understand. If we make an instrument which is very complicated, the issues will also be proportional to it, isn't it? Similarly, our body, our mind structure is extremely complicated. That's why the related problems are also quite complicated and deep. But if the identification rests onto the correct point, all of these problems will solve in a moment. Because the problems are related to the instrument. I am not the instrument. I am the one who is aware of the objects perceived through the instrument. It was recorded within the instrument. That recording was played within the instrument. But he who knows all of this is me. That sight is me. That light is me. The light that sees not just the light but the absence of light too, which is darkness. I am that light. I am the light of consciousness. I am the sight. Sight which is free from the seen. Seen which isn't different from the instrument. That instrument is also not different from the scene. Is this body different from the world? No. 
this instrument which we call as a body inside which this whole world is visible is it different than this world different than the universe it is a part of the universe where does the universe exist inside this body remove the instrument where does universe go so it is one block with no separation this instrument is not different from the universe that universe which exists only inside this instrument as is the instrument thus is the universe within universe gives birth to an instrument and this universe exists in the instrument if this world is not in the brain where is it then this entire block can be seen with two perspectives one is the material cause of this universe second is consciousness this universe is made up of some material isn't it when we break some hard material it gets smaller and smaller at the most subtle level what is the material cause what is essence that is consciousness this needs to be understood as and when we move ahead consciousness is not different from the material cause of this universe consciousness is the material cause and that is you you are that